what's up guys? I did not plan on shooting a video of the Caribe Royal Resort, but we had a great time. We were here for one night and um, I just thought I'd do a quick resort overview. It seems like you guys enjoy our videos where we're uploading content of, um, of hotels. So just to give you an idea of what this resort is all about. It's, uh, you've probably seen it if you frequent Orlando a lot. It is off Disney property, but very close to the properties. And um, yeah, not, not, not bad priced. Maybe not as much as uh, you're gonna pay for a Disney resort, but it comes with all of the Disney resort style amenities. So let's take a look. Off to the right side of the lobby, you got a gift shop. Ooh, oh, hey. Yeah, all kinds of trinkets and hats and fun stuff. Get your medicine and, you know, typical things that you find in a gift shop. You can get some, some nice clothes, some Disney attire, Beanie Babies. Just outside the gift shop, you walk directly into the center of the lobby again. Really like these palm trees underneath the skylight here and hovering over the bridge. Just down below is a cafe where people are eating and enjoying their breakfast. And then you've got the uh, check-in area on the right-hand side over here. And as you can see, beautiful view coming down the stairs of the pool area. The pool's pretty large, it's got a nice slide. I'll show you guys that here in a second. It's got a nice waiting area. It looks like a bar over here. I would imagine they do a lot of conventions at this hotel. Oh, they got shuffleboard. Look at that. I'm a big fan of shuffleboard. Currently doing some construction on the hotel, but give you the idea nonetheless. This part here reminds me of something in Vegas. Maybe the Venetian, something at the Luxor. Good morning. Hey, got a little video arcade. Take a look at this. This is cool. Oh, every credit is one cent. Or 25 cents. Every credit is 25 cents. It's, it's like the 80s in here, guys. Yeah, I got some fun stuff for the kids to play. Not a lot, but... More so than um, than uh, most hotel arcades. I know uh, Harlow would love this game. Yeah, cool stuff. Walking directly out of the hotel lobby. Got a beautiful view of the pool. It's about 10 a.m. right now. Skies are perfect. Weather's about 70 degrees. A lot of people already just hanging out. You can see very tropical feeling. Right around the corner over there is the slide. I'll show you that here in a second. Across from the pool, you got Calypso's Bar and Grill. We ate here last night. We had a burger, some wings. Food's okay, guys. Um, priced about what you would expect. But they've got a full service bar. Um, beer prices are good. I think like six bucks. Can't complain about that. the 
rocks over there. Slide on down, they got a lifeguard up at the front. Kids uh, were on this yesterday. It's going pretty fast. So there are three towers uh, here at the hotel. You've got the one located over there and then this one, and we were in tower number three. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside there. A really quick room tour. And then we're gonna wrap this up for you. I will tell you that in the room itself, overall, the hotel is, is really clean. Um, the rooms, I can't wait to show you guys that. The rooms are um, really nice inside. Now, I don't know if all towers have this, but in tower three, there is a um, spa where um, you can book an appointment, get a massage. Looks like they've got a place where you can get your feet done and fingernails and all that fun stuff. It's always nice when they have those added features. Normally I like to show the room <clears throat> before we make a mess, but that's not gonna happen. Today we're in 38, 42. This couch turns into a sofa bed. I think it's a queen. It's pretty big. And what I really like is the uh, pictures on the wall because it, it feels more like a home versus a hotel. They got a work desk here. We've got our bedding from last night on the floor, but a nice size mirror, full, full length, so you can make sure you look good before you go out to the pool. And the TVs, guys, are really nice. I'm not sure what size this is but um, the quality of the pictures is, is really, really good. They've got a refrigerator. They have a microwave, a pull-out drawer. So we can put snacks and things like that. And then the other drawer, you've got a coffee maker. And uh, yeah. Nice front room. This works out really well for a family like ours. We're a family of six. And uh, so two people can sleep on this couch. All right, now the main room has a nice sink area just outside of the bathroom where you can get ready. I always like that. We like that as a family because people can get ready while someone's taking a shower, using the restroom, whatever that happens to be. But the bedroom itself, two queen size beds. Comfortable, a little bit, uh, a little bit harder than than what um, we prefer, but still slept okay. Um, and these are dimming lights, so you can control the brightness, which is really nice at nighttime. One thing I did want to point out is you got both USB and standard plug-in uh, adapter here on the wall, so you can plug in your chargers. All of the artwork in the hotel is consistent. Um, I believe this is just a wallpaper, but yeah. Really cool, love the design, love how uh, modern everything is. And same thing here. You've got a nice size TV, got an area where you can do your makeup. You can, this is, uh, you can control the brightness on this as well. And then same thing over here, USB and uh, standard plugins. So you can plug your electronics at night while you're sleeping. The drawers are a decent size which is good. Um, we just came from uh, Disney Port Orleans Hotel, and one of the only gripes that I have about it is the size of the drawers that they give you in the fifth sleeper room. So it's nice to have plenty of space. And of course, you've got a closet. You've got a headboard up here. You've got an area you can put shoes and things like that. You've also got uh, hangers and then a safe, so yeah. It's, it feels more like uh, an apartment or a condo than it does a hotel, which is, which is really nice for someone like me who does a ton of traveling. Our view is of the parking lot. I believe we're facing like southeast, but uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, skies are beautiful. Got a little bit of a water view over there, but um, yeah, it's hard to complain about this. Oh, I did want to point this out. I'd love to have these in my house. These are very, look at how dark the room gets. That's nice. Camera's doing a good job picking up how um, 
it's not really that bright in here. But you could sleep during the day if you needed to. These are very thick. And once you shut those as well, of course, that helps. But I will point out that they have hard floors, which is always a concern because you think you're going to hear everybody up above you. I will say it was um, quieter than the last hotel that we stayed at. Um, it is a hotel, so you're still going to hear people. Um, we heard some... some um, people on the other side of the room, but not any more so than you normally do. In fact, I would say probably a little bit less. Um, so again, the beds are a little, a little bit stiff, um, but I use a sleeping app that uh, emulates a fan and I slept well. All right, final thing to show you guys is the bathroom. And uh, I, I have to admit, I like this. I'm, I'm a fan of, of these sliding doors. Not only does it have a handheld that you can slide up and down this bar, but in the center, you've got a rain shower head that comes down. That's kind of nice. Not gonna, not gonna lie. That's, that's good. But um, yeah, well done. So the big question is, what did we pay? We were here February 21st for one night only. It was $269 and we paid $20 to park and another $30 for the resort fees. So all those little things add up, but in comparison to some of the uh, Disney resorts, it's about 50 to $100 cheaper. So is it worth staying on property? Yeah. But is it also worth checking out other facilities? Absolutely. So yeah, all in all, I'd have to give this place a, uh, I would say it's a, it's an eight out of 10, maybe, maybe a nine out of 10. But uh, if you're looking to come somewhere and save some money, I don't know if it's cheaper to, to, to book through the website. That's how we did it. I looked on Expedia first. Uh, Kristen was saying that she thought that maybe the resort fees were not included or not in addition to when you book through third-party sites like Expedia or Travelocity. Double check that. But anyway, pretty cool place. Definitely like the definitely like the room. I would I. I I prefer the room over uh, a good majority of Disney hotels. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give us a, a thumbs up. If not, I don't care. Just make sure you watch one of our other videos. Have a great evening. See ya.